Earlier, PGF get its uh, over Six, overhead spinner just five, ripped off four, in its first match. Three, Let's see if two, Carrots can do something one, similar here. Robots fight. All right, looks look like I'm seeing much weapon from PGF. You can hear that hum from Carrots. Carrot successfully landing a good pin. Well, that's a good pin again from Carrots. Good pushing. PGF's weapon has not come online at all in this match, the first 30 seconds of this match. I wonder if it started off dead, Kyle. Oh, nice. Yeah, it might have started off dead. I mean, they did lose that whole assembly in their last fight, so we shall see. Oh, oh big oh, wow. With the beater bar, what you're what you're really listening for inside of the box is that very steady hum. Yeah. And uh, and, and you can hear it. It is it is absolutely balanced. It is running very well. And. Um, I think that one of the challenges with Carrots is that it just doesn't have the reach. Those forks are keeping its opponents away and uh, not feeding them up into the weapon like I think the Builder would probably like. Another good pin on PGF. Carrots has shown great, great control here. Seventy seconds left in this match. You hear carrots trying to spin up even higher. It doesn't matter how fast your weapon is if you can't reach your opponent. Oh, popping the PGF minibot into the air. I'd love to do that with the main bot. <laughs> PGF really having a hard time. Kyle, I guess the philosophical question is, can forks be too long? You know? Yeah, that's a fair Do question. Do they become keep-away sticks at some point? Yeah, especially with that angle. Especially when you want to get in close, you know? You don't want to keep your opponent away. The Karis just keeps getting under BGF and just popping it in the air. 20 seconds left. Yeah, and in this case, you're right. Those forks just kind of feed the bottom of PGF into the top of their weapon. It's not a full engagement like you want. Five, four, three, two, one. That's the match. Turn off your weapon, Carrots. Make your way to the door. I think Carrots may have been, what was it, high-centered perhaps? Yeah. At the very end? I don't know. All right, wow, we're going to the judges a lot. This is great. Maybe we can start with Andrew this time around. Andrew, your thoughts on this uh, this fight? PGF versus Carrots. Yeah, Carrots disabled the minibot on uh, PGF and their weapon really never got active on the PGF side, so I'm going Carrots on this one. All right. All right, Jack Tweedy, your thoughts on this fight? Carrots versus PGF. I'm also going to go for Carrots. PGF didn't really do much the entire fight, lost a mini bot, didn't have a functioning weapon, and Carrots was the main aggressor and dealer of damage, so it's Carrots. All right, two votes for Carrots. Don, will this be a unanimous judge's decision? Uh, yeah, it was just Carrots match from the get-go. It was the only thing spinning and then, you know, getting a little pops here and there, but that was the match. All right, we've got a unanimous judge's decision for Carrots, which survives in the loser's bracket. PGF will be going home early after two losses in a row. PGF's first match, we saw that that weapon just get ripped off and uh, the weapon never came back to life in this competition. All right, uh, we are loading into cage two. It's where the fights happen. And uh, we've got Gemso versus Yes Chef. Loser's bracket round two. Yes Chef, the scrappy home-built robot from Alex Peza versus Gemso. 
which, uh, you know, spun off its own wheel uh, just so violently in its, uh, in its first match. The, uh, the box is locked. These builders are ready to go. We will start this match here in any second. All right, uh, we're hearing from Control that Gemso is running into some uh, challenges with uh, its trans.